This episode is brought to you by Saycon, which is on my list of apps with the most potential for game-changing savings. Talk to your organization's mobility manager and they'll tell you the nightmare of managing multiple carriers per country, each with their own offerings, contracts, and integrations. Saycon abstracts and manages this for you, eliminating the swivel chair mobility management work and giving you asset and configuration data you can trust. Saycon is mobility managed. Check the description below. Okay, quick editor's note here. In the upcoming video, I keep referring to this feature as try catch. And while it has several similarities to the coding principle of try catch, I'm not sure if it's an exact match or not. And ServiceNow only calls it the try method. So every time you hear me say try catch, just hear try. Hey everyone, welcome to a ServiceNow San Diego Essentials. It is so good to have you here. In this video, we are talking about try catch in Flow Designer. And before we get started, I'd just like to do a little shout out to Andrew Barnes and John Dahl, who helped me flesh out some of my knowledge to prepare this video. Try Catch is an awesome new addition to Flow Logic, which helps your flows be a lot more flexible when it comes to failures, errors, and edge cases. It's different from both if statements and out of box error handling for flows, and we'll show you just how different via an example. Now we're gonna imagine a scenario where they wanna update the client of an incident via SMS if the priority changes, because email isn't annoying enough. So here's our action to send the SMS, and here's our action to update the work notes to say that we sent the SMS. And then because we're good stewards of our flow, we're gonna log an entry if this flow fails in any way. So we're gonna test this incident, but what you don't know is that the customer of that incident doesn't even have a number with which to SMS. Let's run the test. The test is successful, but the output is very interesting. As you can see, the flow stopped right here. No more flow for you. And since it failed, it's discontinued the flow and launched the error handling actions. Okay, let's compare this to a flow that's using the new try catch flow logic. When you put a try catch in your flow, you get these two pathways. This is the part that makes it different from an if statement because it is not evaluating anything in that first pathway. It just assumes that it must do it. When the try block can't be run, for whatever reason, the catch block will always run, always. There's no stopping the flow. Can't stop this, baby. So again, knowing that this is for a user that we can't SMS, let's take a look at the output for this flow. We're picking the same incident to test with, running the test. In this case, we see that the try pathway failed. It could not send an SMS message to the user. So what did it do? It went through the catch block and executed the instructions there and fully completed the flow. And if that's not cool enough, you can add multiple try catches to your flow either in line or nested within each other. So the main thing you need to know is that with try catch flow logic, it will always fail into the catch. This is one of my favorite San Diego features as it allows flows to better contend with reality, which sometimes has exceptions and failures. And it takes a complicated pro code concept like try catch and makes it accessible to citizen developers. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. If you're a ServiceNow expert looking for better opportunities, but maybe your resume or LinkedIn profile isn't doing you justice, reach out to me via LinkedIn or the email pictured here as I offer both career coaching and recruitment services. And if you're a ServiceNow customer or partner, you heard that right. Robert Fedoric now does ServiceNow recruiting. With a 1500 subscriber YouTube channel and mailing list and thousands of LinkedIn followers, let's make sure your open positions get first go at the prodigious pool of ServiceNow resources. Reach out via the email picture here.